Today, we'll be doing a deep dive into farm management softwares, which is a catalyst for growing your 3D print farm business. But didn't we just test the Bamboo Farm Manager? Yes, we did, but we were not satisfied with the features. And after you see what other farm management softwares can do, you will understand. So today, we'll compare Simply Print, Printago, and 3D Cube and see which one is the best on the market. We will look at their features, do a cost analysis for 5 or 30 printers, and decide on which one we will implement in our farm. If you're new here, I'm Jan Jan, and together with my best friend, we run the most automated 3D print farm in Switzerland. We ship more than 20,000 products, and our mission is to help you do the same. So let's dive in. Here's the perfect workflow in my mind for future 3D printing businesses. After an order comes in from Etsy or Shopify, the farm manager software should register it, understand what parts is needed to build that product. Then it pulls from its storage the 3MF file and adds them to a smart print queue. The print queue then distributes the file to the correct printer with the right filament, but then automatically prints and detaches the part with our automatic printing system. We can then check if the quality is ideal and fulfill it. Zero human intervention until the fulfillment process. Are we there yet? I will have an answer by the end of this video. Before we look at the categories that we are going to compare, let's have a look at what stage of your 3D print journey it makes sense to have a farm management software. If we pull up our farm layer roadmap, we can see that at layer 0 or 1, meaning you have under 100 sales and running one or two printers, farm management software honestly doesn't make any sense. There, you should focus on growing your sales and getting your foundation solid first. But from layer 2 onwards, with the growing fleet of printers and orders, it becomes a necessity for profitable scaling. So here are the different categories we are going to compare between these softwares. Setup and hosting. How complex is it to get running? Printer support. Does it work with your current printer? Does it only support Bamboo Lab or can you add other brands as well? Failure detection. Crucial feature for preventing waste and damages to your printer. Etsy and Shopify import. Can orders flow directly from your store into your print queue? And automatic printing. Beyond just queuing up jobs, can it handle the full circle from print completion to starting the next job? And we have the unique strength. What's the one thing this software does better than anyone else? Now let's see how each software stacks up. We start with Simply Print. They were founded five years ago and have their headquarters in Denmark. As the name already says, you should be able to simply print. They use a cloud-based system and their setup is really simple. Printers running standard Clipper can directly connect. For Bamboo Lab and Marlin-based printers, you need to set up a Raspberry Pi. But the good news is that you can connect to Bamboo Lab printers even after they close part of their software. In terms of printer support, this is where Simply Print absolutely dominates. It works with Bamboo, Prusa, Creality, basically anything running Octoprint or Clipper. But here's what impressed me. We're able to connect the Centauri Carbon, the Flashboard A5DX, Ethersun's new T1 Max, any Cubic S1 and also Creality's without any issues. The support team is actively working to make all printers compatible. And it shows. If you're running a mixed fleet like many of us, this compatibility is unmatched in the industry. In terms of failure detection, there's a built-in AI feature that actually works. We're talking about spaghetti detection, warping, first layer problems, even blobs that could ruin your print. Currently, it is unlimited because it's in beta mode, but expect specific pricing once beta ends. Still, even with future pricing, the detection quality is impressive and can save you a lot of time and money. Etsy and Shopify import. Here's where all platforms still have work to do. Simply Print has it on their roadmap, and hopefully it's out in a couple of months. In the automatic printing regime, they have something called AutoPrint that works with different automatic printing systems. The good news is that they are planning to integrate our farm loop system soon, which would be a game changer. Additionally to AutoPrint, they have so many features that we don't have the time to go over it. But just to mention a few, they have a Cloud Slicer, Filament Manager, and they even released Staggered Start. And skipping failed objects over their interface, which is great. So their unique strength is the widest compatibility of 3D printers and a ton of important features. Let's move on to Printago. The software is owned by two guys in the US and they are pushing hard as well to streamline the process of 3D print businesses. In the setup and hosting category, is where Printago really shines, if you have a Bamboo Lab printer. The setup was the easiest I've experienced. You literally just use your Bamboo Lab login and your printers and print profiles are automatically detected. But, and this is a big but, this works perfectly before Bamboo's firmware updates that close part of their ecosystem. So if you want to connect a Bamboo Lab printer with a newer firmware, 
it's not possible at the moment and you need to downgrade all your printers. On printer support, they're currently only supporting Bamboo Lab printers. This is their biggest limitation compared to the competition. So if you are running any other brand, you are out of luck for now. I understand their prioritization since Bamboo Lab is dominating the 3D printing market at the moment, but I still hope they will add other brands as well. Failure detection is something that they don't have built in, and that's where they rely on the printer themselves to detect the failure. On the Etsy and Shopify import, they don't have a smooth integration yet, but they released an API support. This is the first step and we might test that in the future. On the automatic printing side, they have something called Fabmatic. It lets you add custom bed clearing G-codes and therefore should support most of the automatic printing systems. It also works with Farmloop. However, since our app also includes detachment tuning parameters, it would be a bit more complex to implement. Having said that, their unique strength is definitely the smooth setup experience for Bamboo Lab users on the old firmware. Though this advantage will diminish with more and more users move to the new firmwares. The last on our list is 3DQ. They are from Canada and have the longest track record since its creation in 2018. They are known for their automatic printing system, but have since then expanded to be a farm management software as well. If it comes to setup, it's where things get complicated with 3DQ. The software either requires their own print hub, which costs $169, and it's just a Raspberry Pi with their software on it. Or you can just buy the Raspberry Pi for 60 bucks. Since we only have a Raspberry 3 and 5 in our workshop, we had to buy a Raspberry 4 just to test their system. Not very flexible. For printer support, 3DQ officially supports Bamboo Lab to LAR mode, Prusa, Creality, Lousbot, and Artillery. Decent coverage, but nowhere near Simply Print's compatibility range. On the failure detection, however, is where 3DQ has been ahead of the game for years. The Queenly Vision AI is comprehensive and has been around the longest. It used to be very expensive on an hourly basis, but they have changed their pricing model and it seems like it's included without time limits now. On the Etsy and Shopify import, they have something called direct to print on their roadmap, but it's on waiting list right now, so nothing live yet. So it looks like we have to bury my dream for now and make another video when all these platforms will include a Shopify, Etsy, WooCommerce or Amazon interface. 3DQ's stronghold should be automatic printing. They promise to have full lights out automation, but here's the catch. It only works with their own ejection hardware. So you cannot use any other automation system, including farm loop and other plate swapping systems. So you are locked into their own ecosystem. So what are their unique strengths? It's actually hard to say, but I guess compared to the other two, 3DQ can run completely locally and have the longest AI detection track record. Before we go to the cost calculation, we should zoom out and add the Bamboo Farm Manager software onto this comparison table. On the setup side, it runs locally and installation is limited to Windows machines. Apart from that, since it's Bamboo's ecosystem, the printers are easily added. On the printer support, they only support their own machines. They don't have failure detection, they don't have Etsy and Shopify connectivity, and they don't have support for automatic printing systems. But you can use it with Farmloop if you use our app. So their unique strength is definitely the price. It's free and your printers get some trees on their screen. But as you can see, there's a lot of catch up to be done if they want to compete in this market. Now let's talk about money, because features don't matter if you can't afford them or if they don't pay for themselves, right? We will calculate the costs for a farm with five printers and 30 printers. This way we can compare the costs for a small farm compared to an intermediate farm. On the Simply Print side, it's actually free up to two printers, which at the moment includes AI failure detection, cloud slicer, filament management, and full printer control. So you can test it without spending a single dollar. For five printers, you would be on the pro plan, which costs $10 a month. What you get is AI detection, print queue, statistic, filament management, and so on. If you grow your farm to 30 printers, you will be looking at the print farm tier, which includes 10 printers already. So in total, you'll be sitting at $105 per month. For that money, you get auto print, stack restart, and many more features. Pricing on Printago side is quite different. They don't charge per printer, but per concurrent printing slot. That means if you queue up different prints, every printer that runs simultaneously is one print slot. So if you have 30 printers, but your production only uses 10, you are only paying for the 10 slots. So in low season, you can get away with fewer slots. And if peak season arrives, you can max out your printer slots, which is quite an interesting system. So if you have a large farm, but only part of it is used for continuous production, or some printers are offline due to maintenance or damage, you can actually pay less with Printergo. So for peak seasons, we are paying $20 max for five printers. 
and with 30 printers it would be 120. Realistically though, if we look at the uptime of our farm throughout the year, two-thirds of them are running continuously, which would make Printergo a cheaper option compared to Simply Print. 3DQ's pricing recently changed. At the moment, there's a Lite and a Pro subscription. On the Lite one, with 10 printer included, we are sitting at $12.99, which includes AI failure detection, central files, but does not include a central dashboard or any auto-ejection possibilities. If you want that feature, you would need to pay $40 per printer per month. So with the Lite version, you will pay $13 for 5 printers or $40 for 30 printers. But you are missing a lot of features compared to the other two. And if you go Pro, it would mean that you have to pay $40 per printer. That would be $200 for 5 or $1,200 per month for 30 printers. But then you get all the software functions plus auto-injection on each printer. But it's still quite steep. So to sum things up, what's the best farm software for you and which one will we be implementing in our farm? After testing all these platforms extensively, we will be implement Simply Print on our farm. Let me explain why. Because the decision comes down to practical business realities, not just features on paper. First, printer flexibility with Simply Print is just great. We don't run exclusively Bamboo Lab printers, and we will probably never will. There will always be specialized printers that perform better at specific tasks. Whether it's a FSN printer that is amazingly fast or a Centauri Carbon that comes at such a low price for what it can do, we never know and we want to stay flexible. Alone in the last three years, we have changed from Creality to Prusa and then to Bamboo Lab, and we want to stay flexible in this regard. We will always be looking for a better and more efficient operation. Second, the value proposition is great. Whether you have five or 30 printers, Simply Print's pricing delivers incredible value for what you get. Looking at a feature comparison, they offer almost everything you need. And as soon as they launch Etsy and Shopify integration, I honestly don't see what they are missing. Third, they don't only have the widest printer integration, but they also have the widest automatic printing system integration. They are planning to support our system plus all the others on the market. This means we have free choice and are not locked into one system like 3DQ is forcing you to do. What is ideal for us doesn't mean it's ideal for you. If you are just starting out and have purely Bamboo Lab printers, and I know many of you do, Printergo might be a good option as well. Especially in the start of your business, when the demand of your products might not be very stable over time. And the pricing model of Printergo can come in handy to reduce your monthly cost, since you can go down and up with your production slots as you need it. I've included all the links in the description below. But the bottom line is, a farm management software isn't an expense. It's an investment in scalability. The right software can turn your print farm from a collection of individual machines into a coordinated production system. But remember, the goal isn't just to monitor your printers. It's to build a system that scales beyond your personal time and attention. Until next time, happy printing, 3D Farmers.